Welcome back to Ranjack, everybody, today! Welcome to the Thunderdome! The Thunderdome? Guess whose body this is? Oh my god. Ryoma! Ryoma, he's dead. dead. I want to check this out. I should investigate the stage! I'm sure there's a clue there. Oh, good. <laughs> no, I'm glad Kaido's here. Uh, I want to look at this. Got my eye on See you, if there's Kurumi. some secret mechanism, you know? When I stand on the stage and looked up, the piranha tank was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bottom would open when the timer had reached zero. The bottom is open now, and the tank is empty. How did they set that all up? Like, how would they... You, sorry. You'd have to have some, like, technological Did they knowledge. say Mew helped at all? I didn't think they did. I don't think they did either. But, like, setting up a, a box that opens when a timer goes off, who would know how to do that besides Mew? Or Kurumi. Kurumi, maybe. Kurumi just seems like the... Do you think anyone knows how to do that? Probably Kurumi. Probably Kurumi. Kurumi. Yeah. It doesn't look as though it has a lid, and I can see the ceiling straight through. And only f this front side is glass, the other sides are made of- Oh, okay, easy. I figured it out. Ryoma was above the tank. Doesn't have a top? Like, he was above the oh, piranha tank. Oh, you can see tank. the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. he was probably above there. Maybe somehow they set up the timer to also drop him. So he comes through the tank, and you don't even notice it, because you're so locked in on- Yeah, everyone was like, Oh my god, Hiyoko, are you okay? Yeah. Is that her name? Yes. Okay, I can. I was getting confused. So the Prana tank had no lid, and only the front was made of glass. Hey, so. Oh yeah, that tank was from Himiko's research lab. Ah, oh. ah, uh, Kaido, you helped carry supplies for the show, right? Oh, so these were all just made already? Yeah. Jeez, Monokuma really just wants people to kill each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me, Kibo, Himiko, and Angie. It was a lot of work. But I just helped carry it. I wonder how they hung it from there. You know... It's a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. Couldn't have been easy to lift. Yeah. So there has to be something upstairs. Yeah, see? It seems this is where the lighting baton for the gym is attached. Ah, oh. Kurumi! It seems as if... The control panel on the side of the stage mm. allows you to raise and lower the baton. So they just attach it to the thing that raises and lowers the lights. No. It seems they lowered the baton, attached the piranha tank to it, and then raised it again. Okay. Mm. I never knew lighting batans were sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. that. A lot of batans. Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it is probably quite sturdy. Well, let's look at the ceiling. Piranha tank! Okay. Can't really see anything up there, but... It does look like grates and stuff. I mean, there's room for a person to be up there, though. Yeah. And there's it's also a closed noting. curtain right here. No. Oh. So someone could be behind that. There's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the other side. He jumped in from the pool. Because we... The the gym connects to the pool. That's right. We took note of that. So they probably drowned him in the pool, then threw him in at the right time. So who was gone? Oh my god, so it does involve the pool. Oh my... Okay. <laughs> What's the matter? You want to check that window out? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, yeah, but... Ah. It's too high up to reach, huh? Yeah, it is pretty high. Even higher than the piranha tank. Higher than the piranha tank. Yeah. That's right. There was a ladder next to the stage. I'll go grab it. Thank Kaido you. Kaido quickly headed off the stage. Where the brain sees the muscle. And he returned with the ladder that was set up beside the stage on his shoulder. <laughs> All right. right. So Decided to make that one different. Good job. But, you know, shouldn't the sidekick be the one bringing the ladder? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. After setting, he, I feel like he's the sidekick more than we are. Uh, for sure. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed up the rungs. You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain, oh, the window is open. Oh my god. Mm. If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? The culprit may have gone in and out through this window. So what's on the other side of the window? I can't see much. But I think it's the pool. A pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Oh, wait. What is this? It always, like, kind of bums me out. Because we start thinking about, like, a really smart, like, theory. And then they start, like, giving us that theory we just came up with in, like, baby steps. And it's like, no, I thought I got it. Yeah. <laughs> but when they're giving it to you, you know, there's a lot more to it than just that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window frame. That's not nothing. You're a detective. No, 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 no. The marks, remember the handcuffs were scratched. Yeah, they had marks too. So I wonder if he was hanging there. 
Hmm. Hmm. Because also, look at all those. The yeah, yeah, those are the handcuffs for sure. Maybe the window frame has distinct aberrations, perhaps scratched by something. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything else with scratches. <laughs> this might be related to the case. I should remember it. Marked window frame. I'm gonna carve this on the bullet. <laughs> All right. I climb down the ladder to the stage. Hey! You done investigating the window? I'll go put the ladder back. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you, Kaido. Jeez. Shouldn't the sidekick be doing this? You offered. He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. I've investigated everything I wanted to on the stage. I didn't talk to those guys, though. We all done here? Let's go. Okay. Yeah, okay. I wanted to talk- I want I- Go back. I want to talk to them. Sometimes they have stuff that makes you think about stuff, yeah. you know? Yeah, and the timer. Look at this. This is a timer that was counting down the escape trick. I didn't realize it was also a timer to reveal Ryoma's body. That's so poetic. Uh, Hold Rumi, on. What do you think? What that phrasing? It was hey. a timer to reveal Ryoma's body. Uh huh. I think it was Kurumi. Okay. Because I gotta think of how to say this. What if the timer was an instruction, like, okay, do this now, and the real killer was using Kurumi as a maid? I mean, we've thought about that before. Right. We, so she would think she was just doing like a normal everyday task, but really what she does is... I didn't even mean it like in a accidental she's guilty thing, but that's a good theory too. Like, uh -huh. okay, Karumi, it's your turn to do this. Because the timer just looks Can like I a wooden... Can get you to set the timer for me, Karumi, or like do this other thing, blah, blah, blah. This makes it her... Or like press this fault. button. Yeah. 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 Maybe. You were helping set up the show, right, Kurumi? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not agree. No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consisted of sewing the banner and curtains. So I do not know the details of her trick. Useless. Well, <laughs> that's so mean. <laughs> I see. All right. All right. Do you want to talk to Kaito? Sure. Hi, Kaito. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My first command of my new sidekick is. Listen up. Uh, investigate everywhere and find clues. Suck my D. <laughs> please, please, what? Shuichi. Please, I need this, Shuichi. All right, ladder. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. It's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to set up the show. It oh, was, probably. Goodness. Light panel. This is how they raise the thingy. Huh? What is this? That is. It is the control panel for the stage lights. It allows you to raise and lower the baton. Hmm. Baton. So I don't know how you pronounce that. Ah, I see. All right. And then we'll go right from left to, to left. <laughs> yep. I never would have imagined such a cruel murder happening at such a fun show. <laughs> Why did the culprit commit such a barbaric act? Did they wish to see us panic? No. I don't think that was the sole motivation. There was some other reason for it. Just have to be with their motive? I would think so. And that reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. I see. So that means the culprit knew of Himiko's trick and made use of it, yes? If that's true, did Himiko tell someone? Someone who thinks the trick is actual magic? Well then... The only person who thinks it's actual magic would be like Tenko or... Or maybe Angie by saying, it's a Tewa or something like that. Yeah. Since the show was used, we must investigate the trick as well. Kyo murmured almost to himself, then walked to the back of the stage. Is there anything to investigate backstage? Um, let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. In a minute. We followed Kiyo backstage. I have people to talk to. Oh. Oh. What oh is my that? my goodness. Why is there a puddle? Oh Did we not see God. this walking up the stairs? <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> this is a pretty long rope. What was this used for? Uh... Hmm. I estimate it is roughly 65 feet in length. Huh? You can tell just by looking at it? But of course. I am well versed in ropes. I once visited a village where their use was commonplace. <laughs> when it was time for me to leave, the women of the village all begged me to stay. Yeah, I wonder what they're using ropes for. Um, Kyo? <laughs> he's he's, he's got, got some explaining to do, Kyo. Busy man, busy man. I find that deeply disturbing, but I have to focus on this investigation. Why does it feel like every character just has some deeply, deeply imbued, like, sexual backstory? A little bit. I like, even, I feel like Miu is the one who makes all the dirty jokes and see, she's like the only virgin here. Yeah, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if she plays with herself a lot, but... 
I don't see her ever actually scoring. She ain't got game. No, no, <laughs> never. She weirded everyone out. Anyway, what is this rope? Could this be related to the case? Could it be used to hold Ryoma up? Potentially, potentially. I mean, he's literally only like 88 pounds. Yeah, what's this puddle? What? There's a puddle behind the staircase. Oh my god, it's like we just broke an entire aquarium open. <laughs> this isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor around it is completely dry. Hmm. Perhaps someone who was wet yeah, was Yeah, Ryoma here. was dripping water because he was drowned in the pool next door. I was thinking it was uh, something about this spot is how such and such escaped. Also, oh, it could be. Doesn't it look like there's door hinges near the back of the stairs? Yeah, it looks like bolts or something. Yeah, someone who's always true. Changing wet clothes? But how would you get from the water tank to the space behind the staircase? Could it be? This may be a vital clue for understanding the underwater escape trick. Okay, okay, that makes sense too. Wet, wet staircase <laughs> and oh my god, stairs. Yeah. Try and unfold them. Staircase goes up to the top of the stage. Inspecting it closely, I can see that some places on the side are wet. This might have something to do with the puddle next to it. Is there a door? Oh, you can see the, like, sides of the other people's... Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> I was like, what is this thing to the side here? Did we talk to Kaito and Kiyo? Oh, duh. Let's yeah. forget. People exist. Is there something here? Nah. Nah, let's decide that after we search it. Investigate anything that stands out. Said something intelligent. Listen. Since the show was used for the murder, we must investigate Himiko's trick as well. Perhaps there are clues here. Alright. Is that everything? What about just that metal piece to the right of the staircase? Is that something else? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. That was the same thing. There's nothing strange about it from behind. Other than the large size, it's a normal tank. I see. All sides of the tank seem to be made of a special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. Hehehe, <laughs> very mysterious. How, I wonder, did Himiko escape from the tank? That's right. Well, if we figure it out easily, it wouldn't be a magic trick. However... I believe that if we figure out the route Himiko took, we will discover how Ryoma got in there. That is true. There's a high probability that they used the same route. I don't think so. Because she would have seen it. You would think, yeah. Like, on the way out. Oh, hey, Ryoma, how are you? Well, oh. I'm out of here. What's up, G? Oh, have fun in there. <laughs> <laughs> to reveal how Ryoma got into the tank. Yeah, and I'm thinking about, like, the magic trick, and I'm like, how does that work? Yeah. I need to reveal how Himiko managed to get out of it. That glass on the floor was a truth bullet, right? Yeah. So it's got to be something to do with that. You'd think. I've investigated just about everything to do with the stage. Oh, she cut a hole in the glass, left, and then fused the glass back in. <laughs> oh, okay, duh. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Or, she put a bunch of sand around it and had lightning strike the sand. She brought a blowtorch, she just welding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I still don't know how the trick was performed. Those underwater welders, I hear they make buku bucks. Well, yeah, you're underwater with, like, hot equipment all hooked up to, like, air machines and stuff. It's very dangerous. You gotta be skilled. It probably hey, isn't so that dangerous, honestly. I feel like a lot of that stuff is like, there's always risk when you're in an environment like that. But there's always safety equipment there to make sure you don't there's gotta be like fight a, the big one. There's got to be like a million different safety precautions, and as soon as one thing goes wrong, they pull you out. Yeah. Hey, how long are you going to investigate here? We still got to find the culprit, you know. Come on, let's go. Jeez. Kaito. Uh, wait, Kaido. I'd kind of rather just investigate alone, not going to lie. <laughs> They're trying. I like him, but he's kind of, yeah. Yeah. Um, although there are many unknown variables, <coughs> that hurts. The first thing we need to make clear is, <coughs> when was Ryoma murdered? Well, in the middle of the show, obviously. The culprit knew how Himiko's trick worked and took advantage of it to kill Ryoma. Huh. In other words, everyone watching the show isn't suspicious. Uh, huh. <laughs> Kaito, you didn't attend the show either, did you? Well, that's... N no, but I'm still not suspicious. I forgot a promise, so I was just eating breakfast. Of course! You got it? I'm not suspicious! Oh, he was just eating breakfast, really? <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I do not understand how the explanation is supposed to convince me. Kibo does have a point. <laughs> he does. Everyone's a suspect. Literally. Even us. Literally. Yep. <laughs> I was suspecting everyone but us in the last one, and now I'm like, Shuichi, did you do it? I don't know. There's no way it could be Shuichi, though. We hey, went to the pool. Of course, I'm going to say that, and it's going to be Shuichi. So yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for Shuichi to be the mastermind. Hey, degenerate male. 
If the game pulls any more memory bull crap on me, I'm yeah. gonna cry. If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic. Got it? I'll use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. But if we don't understand the magic trick, how can we possibly survive the trial? What if there is just a degree of magic actually involved, and that's like <laughs> just I mean, what makes it confusing? I guess the luck is kind of supernatural, but I don't know. The magic feels like a stretch. Right. Yeah. My first go. Yeah, yeah. He's always said this like five times. Shut up. Hear me, me my magic was supposed to make everyone smile. Well, it killed someone instead. Himiko! Don't worry, everyone is smiling. I, I don't think any of us can smile right now. Yeah, we're all depressed. Um, Himiko, if it's all right, are you ready to talk about your underwater escape trick? We need to understand how your trick works if we're gonna solve this mystery. What are you saying? There's no trick to my underwater escape act. It was magic. What, how did you perform the magic? Come on, man. I get so mad at her at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess because I th this is a game I'm playing, part of me gives her benefit of the doubt and saying, oh, it's magic. <laughs> right. But if I was here with her in this situation, I'd be like, girl, I'm going to beat it, Addy. <laughs> there, there might be a slap involved, honestly. <laughs> You're still saying that? Do you understand the situation we're in? Stop it. But no matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was magic. Huh? But I'll protect you. Okay, your time's up. The Q and A session is now over. Yeah! Unless you want to feel the full volcanic wrath of my Neo Aikido. Jeez, man, this guard is more strict than the security at idol events. He would go to like K-pop events. He would. He probably has a celebrity crush. For sure. And it was Ryoma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, that's right. We need to ask Angie about the stage. Angie! I want to ask you some questions about the stage. He's such a quiet character, but just saying people's names is like, Angie! Uh, I know. <laughs> Miu! Taco! I... Yep. I was in charge of all the art. I even built and painted the stage. Then... Oh, my God. She's quite the craftsman. What? She's quite the craftsman. I mean, art's a pretty broad term, you know? Artist, whatever. Art can apply to a lot of things, yeah. Yeah. Then, do you know anything about how Himiko's tr trick, how it worked, perhaps? No. No, I don't know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. I see. I suppose you didn't tell Angie the secret, either. Well, can you tell us how you built the stage? Yeah, maybe. Uh, well, um, I built a trap door, but not important. Not important. It's uh, all a tour. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you asked other people to help you with the preparations, right? Uh, yep. Yep. We started the prep work yesterday. Lots of people helped out. Like when we were moving the heavy tank and the stairs from Himiko's research lab. Yeah, me and Kibo helped with that. Tank had a pulley, but because it was so huge, it was still a lot of work. Right, right. And I asked Kirumi to sew the curtains, because I hate sewing. Thanks, b Atua. So basically, it's all thanks to Atua that the show was a success. How can you call it a success? Nah, nah it's because of all of us. Was it really a success? Ryoma is crying in heaven. He's yeah. like, dudes. <laughs> You're all a bunch of idiots. Dudes, come on. <laughs> uh, um... You still have a ways to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what he would say. <laughs> By the way, were the piranhas your idea? Because. On its own, the Underwater Escape Act is no different from a normal magic show. So divine. I thought it would make the show more exciting and divine if we used piranhas. Atua has spoken. That's what Atua told me. So Atuga gives you that kind of advice too, does he? Um, Atuga's a sleazeball. <laughs> what a, ugh, I'm messing all of these up. And about the piranha tank and the timer, those were from Himiko's lab, correct? Of course, of course! Yep, yep. According to the piranha's tanks manual, it's synced up with the timer. When the timer goes off, the bottom of the piranha tank will open automatically. I see. That means that most of the equipment came from Himiko's lab. Jeez, what didn't they put in her lab? And then... And right when we finished the prep work, and we're about to take a break... <laughs> Gonta captured us, so we couldn't rehearse at all! <laughs> Jeez. When Gonta let us go, it was already nighttime, so we couldn't go back to the gym. You know... That's right. But can you... You can go to the pool at nighttime, though. You just can't swim. So Ryoma... Could not have been drowned in that pool during nighttime. Or would have broken the rules. Well, he could have been in the pool... But it would have broken the rules, meaning, what do they do when you break the rules? <laughs> it's usually a very public killing. So they could have 
forced him to drown if he stepped a single foot in that water. Hmm. It could have been like I don't know. It's you a think it possibility. Could have, like the Mana Cubs and Monokuma, maybe this is like he broke the rules. This is what happens. Yeah. I, I, didn't that happen in one trial? I don't remember. I I don't know. Not in two. There's so many. It's hard to keep track. Oh yeah, you can't enter the gym at nighttime. Yup yup. So we decided to come to the gym today before the morning announcement. Thank you. Himiko and I were waiting for the gym to open. Oh, I was so relieved the set was intact. So no one could have snuck into the gym before those two got here. Uh, unless they could have gone through the window of the pool, but yeah. I don't know if they that would have been a violation of rules or not. Oh. What's up, Shuichi? Are you worried because of this confusing incident? But, but... Don't worry. It'll be fine. Huh? What? Atua has spoken. You have nothing to worry about. Huh? Nothing to worry about? No, no. Nothing can escape as to his sight, not even the culprit. Yeah! Atula is a truly divine force to be reckoned with. Angie's starting to sound more and more creepy. Yep. Mew, did you do it? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I'm sorry. Hey, Flemwad, there's something I need you to tell me. It's not a very polite way to ask someone for something. I gave you bunny apples the other day. How can you be so mean? <laughs> you know. It's got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard Gonta captured you guys last night. Yeah, and you showed him your schmoobies and he left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like how it went. <laughs> the hell is that all about? I was running around, so I got no clue what happened. Got it. Oh, yeah, tell me too. I was also running, so I still don't know what went on. How did Mew escape from Gonta? She's not strong enough to fight him. Uh, don't even worry about Why it. Why, you? Chop, chop, you slimy poop. Uh, um... Well, I suppose you could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. The... Oh, this is really relevant. The first ones to get captured were Kibo, Kyo, Samugi, Tenko, and I. I hate it when they do the name lists. Okay, 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 okay. Here's what it is. I don't think it could have been anyone that was kidnapped. Okay. I genuinely don't. Alright. Th that's it. <laughs> I, just, I don't think <laughs> I you were was... gonna provide, like, a reasoning why? Well, because... Well, yeah, I guess I didn't do that part. <laughs> yeah. Because the gym is off limit at night, and we were all there. We got kidnapped earlier, and then nighttime hit, and then we all went straight to our dorm. There's no way to say they couldn't have gone to the pool that night, though. Yeah, but if you enter the gym, you're in trouble. So unless what they did was string Ryoma up perfectly in the pool area without going into the gym through the window, and then I guess they could have... Yeah, so, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sign anyone off just yet. Yeah, cause they could be like, "That's my alibi. I was kidnapped." Hoo, hoo, hoo. Well, no, you did it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, it's probably less likely that they did. But I still wouldn't say no yet. Right. Himiko and Angie were brought in later huh? from the gym, right? Okay. Exactly. And Kokichi left the room after around 9 p.m. And Kokichi took some time, too. He was like, oh, there was a little hang-up. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So, so they must have been brought in about five minutes before that. If I remember correctly. We, will, we were all forced to participate in Ganta's insect meet and greet. Wait, so, from the gym, exactly. So Kokichi's a strong and obvious suspect, which makes me think, no, it wasn't him. <laughs> Kokichi's gonna be the strong and obvious suspect in every single one of these. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We were freed about an hour into nighttime, around 11 p.m. I see. So, from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., everyone there had an alibi. And then those people without an alibi are me. Kurumi, Maki, and Ryoma. And Rentaro. <laughs> I see you've learned what an alibi is, thanks to the previous incident. But what the frick is this insect meet and greet bullcrap? <laughs> get that Peter Griffin laugh. By the way, Mew, how were you able to get away from Ganta? Can we get a mod that just replaces Mew with different Peter Griffin sprites? <laughs> I'd take that. <laughs> and different Peter Griffin voice lines. What? Hmm? Um, oh, uh, well... Um... I, uh, had to use my secret woman weapon, and let's just leave it at that. Huh? Secret woman weapon? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. She flashed him. Uh, hey, what's a secret woman weapon? Show me the secret women women. <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> She's trying to laugh it off. Come on, man. Shuichi, let's just leave her be. Let's see her will tire you out. You're I'm right. into that. 
You're probably right. Perhaps it's better to get the truth out of her at the class trial. Whatever. Can you do your drone thing again? Insect meet and greet. Okay. That's a All truth right. bullet. Some solid stuff there. I think I, I think I can follow this. If Himiko doesn't tell us how the trick works, we won't know how Ryoma was killed, right? But with the way she is, how do we convince her? Could it be? Oh, what if... Ryoma was a former apprentice of Himiko's master and vowed revenge on him. And he murdered a lookalike of himself in order to sabotage her show. Yeah. Or something like that. It's happened before, probably. Huh. All right, just ignore her like we always do. Okay, bye. <laughs> Kokichi. Hey. I'm glad Himiko made this game more difficult. Now I won't be nearly as bored. Oh, I like to imagine he acts smart, but he has no clue what's going on. Kokichi? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Time to work hard to solve this mystery. Get ready, culprit, because here I come. So you have to say? All right. Hmm. Normally there's a paragraph out of him. Be? Gonta could have saved him. No, Gonta should have saved him. Yeah, why didn't you hold the piranha door shut? I thought that's what you went up there to do. Yeah, or at least like, I don't know. Catch Himiko on the way down. I don't know what you were doing necessarily. Did literally anything ever. What happened? Gonta, what's wrong? <sighs> when piranhas attacked Ryoma, if Gonta had dived into tank, then Gonta could help Ryoma, but Gonta got scared, too scared to do anything. Gonta, idiot. So, yeah, true. Sorry. Gonta, really sorry. Reassure him by telling him he was drowned already. Come on, man. Man shouldn't apologize so easily. Say that every time. And even if you had jumped in, they just would have eaten you too. That's true. And from what I read in the Monokuma file, you couldn't have saved him anyway, Gonta. Huh? Really? Does it say that in Monokuma file? You know... You haven't even read the Monokuma file yet? Gonta not smart. No, Gonta not really understand it. Uh, Gonta not smart enough to be helped. Can he even read? I don't think so. I guess so. he could read horse A. What does horse A mean still? And I mean, I, we don't even know it says horse A. You could rearrange those letters to say a lot of different things yeah. probably. But I don't it know, says that at the very... Very beginning, and it'll be mentioned at the very end. Yeah, and it's going to be like the biggest clue that says exactly who it is. And it's... Yeah. Hmm. Horse A. I, I've thought about it a couple times, and I'm like, I just, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? If you got time to apologize, you got time to read the file. If you think you can't help, then work till you can. That's what you can do. You're right. That's right, Gonta. You're a huge help. There's some information that only you know, after all. Huh? Information only Gonta know? Remember. During the show, you went up on the stage. That was about 20 seconds before the piranhas dropped, right? Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, because Gonta worried about Himiko. Could it be. Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? I feel like if it was Himiko who died instead, everyone would be, like, really sad. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. I don't think anyone would really just felt that strongly about Ryoma. Well, I did. I liked him too. He was cool. No. Going to see no one in tank. Going to kind of surprised. So Himiko escaped by then. And there was no one in there below Gonta. So Ryoma had to have fallen. Well, he's talking about the tank below him. Yeah. Ryoma wasn't in there before the piranhas dropped. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Oh, you can't do that. We're still in the middle of the show. But if Gonta do nothing, Himiko get eaten by piranhas. Can we just, like, end this picture? Is there anything above Gonta? Not that you can see, really. I mean, you can see clearly the curtain is, like, right in a spot where they could jump into that. Or, like, be thrown or move in some way into that. Maybe they, like, attack... Oh, here's an idea. Yeah. I, I don't know how they would do it, but it's possible. Just something to keep in mind. What if... So the doors open when the timer reaches zero. Okay. And the piranhas drop. Yep. What if... The rope, the wet rope, or I don't know if they said it was wet. Anyway, what if the rope was attached to those doors, and then the other end of the rope was attached to Ryoma, pulling Ryoma into the... Oh, but then the rope would be tied to him, I guess. Never mind. Scratch that theory. Unless someone... No. 
Never mind. The way I see it, there's two ways. Obviously, Ryoma went in with the piranhas or went in shortly after the piranhas. I just wonder if there's some sort of mechanism they could have set up so that when the doors open, Ryoma gets pulled through the curtain or shoved through the curtain or... Well, the biggest... Oh, sorry. I kind of bumped the mic. The biggest thing you would think is Ryoma's in there with the piranhas, but how was he not eaten? Right. There has to that be... The thing about just it not having a lid is the biggest clue and the window being open right behind it he totally had to come from that window right maybe they put his body in there using that window because they couldn't technically do it with by walking into the gym right so it's possible i mean i mean someone was in the pool during someone was in the pool area and used that window to throw rioma's body in there right because they can't go in the gym if they put a hand in the gym rules broken you're killed so if they are on the opposite side of that window, open it, whoosh, they're not going in the gym, but with that box right there, they could easily just throw Ryoma's body in there. Now you lost me, because they can't go into the gym at nighttime. And they weren't. They were in the pool, but the pool's window is right next to the gym. Yeah, but what good does it do them to throw Ryoma's body in the tank? At nighttime, at, when at, they can't go in the gym? Yeah, wouldn't his body get eaten? There must be a way around it. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm sitting... Uh, what I thought you were trying to say is that they threw his body in, like, once the timer went off. No, I think we would have saw that. I think nighttime definitely has something to do with it. Yeah, they must have had some setup, or... I mean, there's got to be a way that they use that... You can go in the pool at night, but not the gym during the night, to no, access There's just that. so many factors and ways they could have done it. We just need to go investigate the pool before we yeah. even say anything. Honestly. <laughs> there's going to be, like, a wet rope hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> it's going to be like, like a, I did this, by the way, from Maki. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, uh, what, the, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> but when the piranhas were dropped and the curtains opened, Ryoma was in the tank, right? Why did we always spend so much time investigating? <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, that's right. So... Then when did Ryoma get in there? He didn't see it happen. Oh, going to Ga see. Ganta don't know. Everyone see Ryoma and Tank when piranhas drop in. After that... Sorry! Gonta should have watched Tank better. Ass. Like I said, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. Women should apologize all the time. Yeah. Just for being women. <laughs> um... He would be sexist. He would be. Y yeah, you right. You know... But this is a problem. Now I'm even more stumped. Even if Himiko disappearing was part of the Underwater Escape Act, how did Ryoma get into the tank? Was that part of Himiko's trick? I'm positive that mystery will be an important point of this case. And also the time of death. He must have, if the time of death is a big clue, like we were thinking, he must have been killed the night before. Or just earlier sometime, somewhere. Yeah. And it's not like we would have any time to notice body decomposition. Decom because mm -hmm. he was eaten so quick. Yeah, but your body wouldn't decompose just from... A day or two. Like 12, 10, 8 hours, you know? Yeah. I mean, it might look a little weird, but yeah, if you're thrown underwater and stuff and surrounded by piranhas, you wouldn't notice. Water, water's kind of a good preserver too, isn't it? Is it? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. I think if, like, nothing was in there... Maybe. <laughs> I, don't know. I believe we investigated everything we need to for now. Time to go to the pool... Well, our investigation's over now, so who's the culprit? You. What? <laughs> no. I can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to investigate. Come on, man. What? You still don't know. I never thought detective work would be such work. So, where else do we gotta investigate? That's... First, the pool next to the gym. They're connected by the window above the stage, so that needs to be looked at. Yes, That's sir. True. After that, I want to go to Ryoma's room and find out which motive video he had. Yes, sir. Then, I want to investigate the Ultimate Tennis Pros Lab. God, there's so much to investigate. I've deduced that the handcuffs we found in the water tank probably came from there. Mm. Is that everything? Ah! Last of all, <laughs> to the Magician's Lab. I want to know more about Himiko's trick. Well, this might be a few episodes, guys. <laughs> you know what, though? They might cut us short on purpose. Oh, maybe then so, we're like, like... we'll get to, like, the pool, and it'll be like, Okay, time's up! Oh my god, I'd hate that. I'd love that, that'd be awesome. Well, then it'd be like, ah, oh, I don't know anything! Yeah. <laughs> if we go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. Hmm. So, we still got a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Shuichi. After all, it's gonna be you doing all the heavy lifting here. <laughs> Thanks. You're right. Ugh, <sighs> right. Don't I forgot you're out. stupid. What do you mean, right? You saying I'm useless. Yeah. Is there a right way to respond to that? No, there isn't. <laughs> 
All right. Well, That's we will go investigate the pool in the next episode. Uh, put who did it in the comments. But no, don't do that. <laughs> put who you think might have done it. But if you're right, then don't answer anything. If you know who did it, don't say anything at all. Yeah. <laughs> um. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Yeah. That's, yep, I no, mean, yep. Don't, leave, leave this awkward. I like it awkward sometimes. I'm getting tired. I don't know if I have the energy to do another one, TBH. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sleepy too, not gonna lie. Ryoma's death really took it out of me. I'm very depressed and sad now. <sighs> I was gone and I could not hear you. Oh. It was so loud in my ears. The pressure in your eardrums? Kinda. But, um, this is fun. Well, I thanks, love, bros. I love investigating. Bro fist. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Just bye. Just buy, buy? No, don't just buy them. I was gonna say stuff, and then you interrupted me, and now I don't care. Oh, you know what? I also want to check out Maki's lab. What the heck is she doing in there? This mad suspicioso. I really hope she's, like, actually a really good person and is, like, saving... She's, like, making a heroic sacrifice by staying in there. There's, like, a demon that needs tamed. It's just, <laughs> yeah, like, a baby whatever. that would kill everyone if she didn't. Yeah. That that's my running theory. <laughs> well, I uh, love you guys. See you tomorrow. I like you guys, but I don't love you. I'm not here to foster parasocial relationships. I love parasocial relationships. <laughs> well, Gage can have all of them. <laughs> no thanks. Toodles. Oodles of noodles. That's right. Groodles of poodles. I'm ending it now. Foodles of Even snoodles. if it's while you're saying stuff. Greedles and of I know how you hate it when I do that. Gleedles of deep.